welcome to Empowered Learning. This particular lesson will be on how to calculate permutations and combinations using a graphing calculator. As you can see, I'm using a TI-83. If you have a TI-84 or a TI-86, it will work similarly. Before we actually get started with the computations in the calculator, I wanted to give a quick reminder of what a permutation is versus a combination. So in short, when we are doing permutations and combinations, what we're actually doing is trying to take a certain number of items and group them into groups of a certain number at a time. So for instance, for a permutation, this is read as the grouping of 138 things two at a time, or we can put it similarly, taking 138 things and grouping them two at a time. This is read as the combination of 13 things grouped five at a time. The difference in between this is that with the permutation, order matters, whereas with the combination, order does not matter. So to give a quick example of what that might mean before we get started, if I had 138 things, let's say numbers, and I had the group with just one and two in it, that would be one group. And then let's say I had the group with two and then one in it. The group one, two and the group two, one are two different groups because the order in which the numbers come or happen or are listed actually matters. Whereas here with the combination of 13 things taken five at a time, let's say here I had a group of one, two, three, four, five, and then I had another group of five, four, three, two, one. So looking at this, the group of one, two, three, four, five, and the group of five, four, three, two, one are both the same because all we're saying here is that um, I have five different people in this particular group or this particular silo, and it doesn't matter the order of them as long as they're all in the same group. Whereas here with the permutation, it does matter. And so, as you've probably um, listened before, the archetypical example of a permutation problem is what we call the election problem. Where let's say the president, number one, comes before the vice president, number two. Whereas the combination uh, the archetypical example of that would be the committee problem. When we have people on a committee, it doesn't matter um, the order in which they are as long as they're on the committee because all of them have the same power as far as voting rights and all of that. So, in short, that is a brief primer on what a permutation and what a combination is. So now let's get into the actual computation of this. So let's say we want to evaluate um, the permutation of 138 things taken two at a time. So if we go to our calculator here, how we get to um, these particular functions is to hit the math button. So from here we need to go to PRB, which means probability. And then from here you'll see that I have an option number two, the NPR, so the permutation of N things taken R at a time, or grouped R at a time. For option three, I have the combination of N things grouped R at a time. So that's how we get to it. All right, so to actually do this particular computation, we're first going to type in 138, then hit math, go to probability and then we select option 2 and then after that we type in 2 and then after that that gives us our answer so if we had 138 things and we group them two at a time where order matters you'll see that we would have 18,906 different groups All right let's move on to the next one so now we want to take the permutation of 21 things and group them in groups of zero. Okay. Now, the answer to this is one, and this is more of a theoretical type problem. 
Um, but I want to show you how to do the calculation that will actually give you one as an answer here. So again, we need to start with 21, math, and then go to probability, and then we select option 2, hit 0, and then you see the answer is 1. For the next example, we're now dealing with a combination. And notice that the combination can be written in uh, the C with the numbers on the side notation, or it can be written in this other uh, matrix type looking notation as well. And so permutations are not written this way. So whenever you see something written like this, you always translate it to be a combination of 13 things grouped five at a time. Whereas with the permutations, they are always written with the uh, P in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. So we need to first type in 13, then go to math, probability, and then we select option 3, and then we go to 5. Okay, so what this is telling us is that if we have 13 things and we wanted to group them 5 at a time, then where order does not matter, then we would have 1,287 different groups. Now, just to show you the difference in between the combination and the permutation, I'm going to do the same thing with this, but do a permutation. So you can see the difference in the numbers. So we'll do 13 again, and then math, probability, we'll select option 2, and then 5, and you see that we have way more, um, we have a bigger number of groups there, okay? So this is 154,440 groups, and the reason for that is because order matters with all this, whereas if order does not matter, there's a lot of groups that are being duplicated, okay? All right, let's move on to the last one. So for here, we see that we have um, a combination of 10 things grouped 7 at a time multiplied by a combination of 3 things grouped 1 at a time multiplied by a combination of 7 things grouped 4 at a time. And of course, the alternate notation looks like this. When we come and do it here, we're just going to do it just like how we did these other three, but we're just going to multiply in between. So we start off with 10 math, probability, and then since we're doing combination as option 3, 7, and then that's times, and then we'll say 3, go back to math, probability, combination, 1, and then times, 7, math, Probability again, option three, four, and then hit enter. And you see we get 12,600. Okay, and so this concludes the lesson on how to evaluate permutations and combinations using a graphing calculator.